Hi, I am Dr. Beth Henches. I am an associate professor of psychology and I am the department chair. Um, and I'm joined today by Dr. Moreno. Yeah, hi, I'm Dr. Georgina Moreno and I'm an assistant professor in the department of psychology. Gina, um, what, <laughs> what do these three things have in common? Uh, COVID, Black Lives Matter, and online learning. At first glance, they're all problems or issues that we're dealing with right now in 2020. However, these are all issues that as professors of psychology, we discuss in our classroom. So um, we can consider how with COVID-19, for example, in my biological basis of behavior course, we talk about the implications of COVID-19 when it comes to our neurological and um, biological systems. We talk about Black Lives Matter in social psychology, right? So our social, social psychologists are interested in studying the attitudes and biases that drive this movement and how we can better understand what's going on there. All of these different issues are important to consider in the context of psychology. Yeah, so like Dr. Marina was mentioning, like all of these are topics that you might study in psychology. And so if you are a psychology major and taking classes in, in psych, um, it's not unusual for people to think what I wanna be is a therapist, uh, which is clinical psychology. And that is a branch of psychology, but it is um, only one out of five major areas according to the American Psychological Association. So, um, and some of the ones that Dr. Marino mentioned is like um, uh, social psychology, which is the study of, of human behavior in social contexts, where you might study things like prejudice, discrimination, um, uh, stereotyping, um, developmental psychology, where you study human development, which can be from infancy all the way through aging. Um, and uh, also Dr. Marino, um, your area, uh, which is bio or neuropsychology. Yeah, so biological psychology is the study of the biological mechanisms that, that drive our behavior. I also study cognitive psychology. Um, so looking at what's go uh, the psychology behind our ver the various ways of thinking, right? So our decision-making, all of these different um, way or different branches of cognition. And because psychology studies so many different things, it can lead to many different types of careers. Um, obviously, if you think you wanna become a clinical psychologist, psychology is an appropriate major, but that would involve going to graduate school. Um, psychologists also um, work in a wide variety of fields. Obviously, we are psychologists, but neither one of us is a clinical psychologist. So as researchers, as academics, um, but people also work in nonprofit agencies, um, in businesses, uh, even in banking. Um, and in, uh, if you think you wanna do a pre-professional type of program, so go into law or uh, physical therapy or physician's assistant, psychology is actually a very appropriate major because it is a science-based um, major. That, and we emphasize that very much in our degree program. Uh, the scientific method. Um, so you take classes in research methods and statistics. Um, but our program also emphasizes diversity in our programming. So you uh, do have to actually take classes on diverse populations. Um, our classes are interactive. So they're relatively small and the faculty tend to do more than lecture. And uh, we also offer opportunities for undergraduate research participation because faculty are uh, active researchers and need assistance in their programming. And so one of the benefits of being a psych major at UHCL is that you get research opportunities, even as an undergraduate major. 